All right, so here we have Candy Nine Saga, as you can see, made with the Ren P Visual Novel Engine. So it's going to be a point and click. Let's see where this goes. So yeah, the quest for the Apple Apple Scroll Scroll Apple Memory Edge Saga, early access. Nice little side uh, reference there, but uh, anyway, let's check our preferences here. Can I turn the volume down just a little bit? It's not killing me. But that should be good, that should be good, yes, alright. Alright, we'll keep it windowed. Okay, turn, let's do this. I'm probably going to be doing voices, so I'm going to warn you now, they're probably going to be awful. Okay, next problem. A man in a flat field of grass throws a one kilogram ball with an effective force of five newtons at an angle of 40 degrees while relative to the ground. If the man released the ball two meters off the ground, how long would the ball take to hit the ground, assuming no obstacles? If one newton equates to one kilogram meter per second, that would mean it's going up at five meters per second to start with a downward 9.8 meters per second squared acceleration. Ugh, I hate physics, but I hate all the math involved. Or I like physics, I'm sorry. All right, I've already ruined the game. But I hate all the math involved. At least it's good that this problem doesn't involve trigonometry. Mom, I'm trying to do my homework. All right, I'm coming. Oh, okay, there was yelling over there. I didn't see it. Um, what does the I do? Info? Look around, maybe? I don't know. Wait, what? Mr. Game Developer, please stop inserting your own thoughts into my narration. Okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, what else we got here? Top drawer contains the usual things one would expect from a desk. Paper, pens, etc. The bottom one contains chocolates and candy abound, as I recall. It is not a proper use of the word abound. I lost the key a while back, so I can't open it. So I guess we have to unlock the candy at some point. So many long hours studying at that lamp. It's about the time I threw it away. Let's throw it out the window. Looking through the window makes me want to say silly things like, A calming light tumbles through the gap and clears away the darkness. I should stop looking at the window. Look at the poster. It's a poster my friend, it, that's a poster my friend Keith gave me, because he felt my room was too bare. I don't even know who that girl is. Fair enough. Rotate, we have chairs. This poster depicts a scene from Scion, the last flame servant, Legend of Hera. I don't watch that show, so I have no idea which character that is. This poster depicts a scene from Flame Guitarist. I actually despise that show, but my friend Leah likes it, and she sits in that chair whenever she comes over. That is the chair that my friend Leah uses whenever she visits. I purposely positioned it to face the bed so she would face me while we chat. That's a bottle of soda that Keith left last time he was here. What a slob. That is the chair my friend Keith uses whenever we hang out in this room. For various reasons, I've never used that chair myself. Why is there a gun? What's this doing here? Strange, I don't think anyone in this area owns a gun. I mean, never, much less a weird antique like this. I guess I'll take it with me, just in case it's important. That has me really worried. The top one contains my pants, while the bottom one contains my socks and underwear. There are also other, um, things hidden in there, which is why I don't let people open it. Really. This box contains mostly gifts I didn't like, but don't have the heart to throw away. I'm wearing- I like wearing plain, subdued colored shirts. Leah said I look best that way, but Keith said I have no fashion sense. Besides the fact that I care more about Leah's opinion, Keith dresses like a video game character, so I've always ignored his thoughts on clothes. Cute. Alright. These shelves are organized by type of book, with the bottom shelf being for whatever. This shelf contains all 14 volumes of the Encyclopedia Fantastica. I've never read any of them. This shelf is for my manga. Uh, I only have three series on it. Shelves for novels. I really hate how varied the sizes are. This is Claire's diary. I get the feeling a certain friend of hers put it here for very bizarre reasons. I should return it to her. I spend most of my money eating outside of anything to put on these middle shelves. Ditto. I usually keep my backpack on the right side. Oops. Let me read through that again. The other thing is a serious object that my sister's best friend left in here. I have no idea why she left it here or why, how she even got in since my door was locked at the time. That was, of course, before this game's story began, so I had a door at the time. Stupid, lazy developer. That switch leads to the outlet right next to it, as one would expect. 
That said, I would have also expected a proper architect to not put a light switch inside the arc of the door. I guess the door would open that way if he had a door. The light bulb in that lamp went out weeks ago, but I still haven't gotten around to replacing it. It's where my door used to be. Unfortunately, the game developer hasn't gotten around to drawing it, so it currently doesn't exist. I guess we go forward. All right. Hunter ties his boot, painted in water-based acrylic by some guy at an art festival. My mom likes this painting, but I think it's utterly horrible. Lovely. Out this window is a pleasant view of our neighbor's rooftop. There's really no point in seeing it. Uh, why did it all go black and white? He must have gotten really lazy. Banana and bowl painted by some computer program by my father. I didn't hesitate to tell him how boring it is back when he made it. I still think it was a waste of money to bring it. Bring it. Print it, uh, probably. Belongs, room belongs to my sister Claire. She often tells me not to bother her, but she seems to get more irritated at me if I listen. Even if the developer had drawn doors, hers would probably be open. Claire Dewson. Oh, Brother Norman, why do you disgrace my solitude this event? Ugh, I do not have the energy to correct her word uses right now. I found this on my shelf. Your friend probably put it there, though I don't know why. My diary! Thank you, thank you, thank you! The Darlene said I couldn't possibly find it by tomorrow. Hey, 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 I win this time. Ahem, I will reward you with this um, voucher for a free truffle. Oh, thanks. I don't think she knows what a truffle is, but she really should have read it more carefully. The mere fact that it was issued by the nearby candy store should have tipped her off. Alright, uh... Yeah, free candy. Well, the game seems to be rapidly devolving into less and less graphical fidelity. Uh, I might do a full play on this. Uh, I imagine he at least wrote everything that happens in this. But yeah, Candy Nine Saga. Although it is early access, so I think that might actually be part of the joke. Um, if anything, it probably is. In that case, I actually give it a few more points. Uh, you can check it out at thecandyjam.com along with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I'm going to give this a little more attention once I get through all the ones previewing, and we'll see what happens with that. So yeah, keep an eye out for that, or just keep watching the channel for more Candy Jam stuff. Or just go play the games yourself, there's a bunch of them. Do it.